here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, a Cisco Kid. Well, Gary, about one more week of recutting, and I'll defy anyone to ever tell that these were once a part of the Peralta necklace. My compliments, Maestro, you're a wizard. Well, why shouldn't I be? After spending 40 years in Europe perfecting the art, and what have I got for it? Weak eyes, round shoulders. That's why I turned crook. I know, I know. You've told me that before. Many times, in fact. Yes, I suppose I have. Well, back to work. By the way, Parker, I've hired an entertainer. Girl? Yes, and very attractive, too. I'm sure the hotel gets to like her very much. And you? Don't worry about me. She's perfectly harmless. Yes. So is a stick of dynamite, until it explodes. You better get ready. All right, Gary. <laughs> hey, Cisco, this pretty high tone class place, eh? You got flowers and the women and the music and even the waiters that got on the bobtail monkey suit. <laughs> Why didn't we never come here before? Because, Pancho, we never passed this way before. You know that's a pretty good reason, don't you believe it? Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Gary Mason, the manager here. May I be of service to you? We'd like to have something to eat. Something? We want everything. Some arroz con pollo with salsa de chile verde, uh, some chicken tamales, no bones, and maybe a few dozen enchiladas and some tortillas, and we're going to finish with panocha de piñon, eh? <laughs> yes, and we'll finish in the hospital if we have to eat all of that, Pancho. Oh, is that a bad way to die? Oh, this way, gentlemen.
Oh, waiter. Now, uh, something right, please. Tony will take good care of it. Oh, Gary. Hello, Mr. Parker. Sit down. Keep an old man company. It'll be a pleasure. No sign of that detective yet? No, but the boys will take care of him if he shows up again. Well, you see that they do. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Joan Bentley. Shoot that man. I think I will kill you, hombre. He's dead, then maybe you will talk. Never mind, Pancho. We'll take them in to the nearest sheriff. That won't be necessary. I'll do it. On your way.
Well, that's taken care of. That's one of my pigeons for turning on. Excuse me. Hey, senor, maybe you can tell us who... Never mind, Pancho. Come along. Cisco, where does Senorita go anyhow? What happened? Those men, they got away. They roped me from my horse and hit me on the head with a gun. Take it easy. It will be all right in a little while. I'll... I'll help you to the hotel. No, thanks. I can make it alone. But you can stable my horse. Sure. Thanks very much. Cisco, I'll bet you that man will get away what did it. No, Pancho. Mason let those men get away. What do you mean? He said he was hit in the head with a gun. When I felt his head, there was no bump there. Cisco, Pancho! Hey, senorita! We were looking for you. Why are you hiding here? I was waiting to talk to you. I couldn't do it in the open. Afraid of Mason? Then you know about him. All I know, senorita, when he tell a crooked lie, he do it with a straight face. Then you didn't believe what he said about how those men got away. <laughs> Senorita Pancho got brems on top of his head. Mind telling us what it's all about? I picked up your message to your friend. He was my partner. I'm Joan Bentley, insurance detective. Holy smokers, what are you detecting? The Peralta necklace. No doubt you read about it being stolen. Who hasn't? Well, Stan and I traced it here. And I got a job as a dancer to wear my way into Mason's confidence. You think he got it? Not only that, but I think he's mixed up in a number of other diamond robberies. What made him suspicious of your partner? I don't know, but I overheard him talking to one of his men, and then I knew it was all over for Stan. There was no way I could get word to him in time to warn him to stay away, and, well, you know the rest. Oh, hello there. What, leaving us so soon? Oh, as a matter of fact, we plan to stay a few days. Yeah, the weather here is good for my lumbago, but when it don't ache on one place, it aches all over. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll excuse me. I'm taking my daily walk. It's great for the health. You ought to try it sometime. Ah, heliotrope. My favorite perfume. Yours? No, a memento from a friend. Ah, you... It must be served. Right about that girl, Tracy. Look what I found up in her room. The credentials from the insurance company. And you told me she was perfectly harmless. She will be when I get my hands on her. Don't be a bigger fool than you are. What do you mean? First things first. Remember that, Gary, and you live longer. So? The girl can wait until we take care of Cisco and Pancho. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Good morning, miss. May I join you? As you wish. Thank you. 
Well, it isn't in his room. Any ideas? Maybe on his person. Possibly on his money belt. Be careful. Here he comes. It's a beautiful day. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And how are you, Joan? Fresh as a daisy. Sit down and have a bite with us. I'd like to, but I've got some important business in town. See you at dinner. Dear Gary, buyer for stuff will meet you at the Rockport Hotel on Wednesday. Ask for Larkins. Don't forget my cut, Joe. I told you he had it, Cisco. Well, but he'll not have it much longer. We'll see to that. I wonder where Poncho is. I'll see you later. friend would like to meet you. His name is Paul Parrott. <laughs> hey, Paul, say hello to the little pigeon. Hello, boys. Hello, little pigeon. Hello. 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 Hello, pigeon. Hello, little pigeon. Hello, little pigeon. <laughs> Where you come from? Timbuktu's? Oh, what a poor little animal. You got some little baby squab someplace, eh? You got it? Yeah, give me that bird. Well, senor, I... What's the idea of trying to steal my pigeon? Well, I didn't was trying to steal the pigeon. I was just talking to him like a pigeon's talk to one, you know? I don't know what's the matter with this man. He don't laugh at all with his face. I... I... <laughs> Pancho. Let's go after that necklace. Well, Cisco, you know where it is? Going my way? Big try, Mason. You do the reaching. Both of you. Drop your guns. Make it fast. Cisco, that letter was not a letter, it was a trap. And a neat one, too, you must admit. What are they going to do with us? You'll find out soon enough. All right, boys, mount up. Cisco, show me your gun, Cisco. Yeah? Just my wound was knocked out of me. So bullet hit my belt buckle. Cisco, please don't ever do this to me again. What do you want, my white hair to turn black, Cisco? Huh? Hey, you dropped something, huh? Pancho. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I find that in the pigeon place, you know, Cisco. <laughs> I, here, I find that after Senor Parker, he think I want to steal one of those pigeon birds to fly out of the sky. Cisco, look. Oh, Cisco, he's diamonds, huh? Look. <laughs> yes, Pancho, diamonds. Yes. Stolen diamonds. Yes. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Give me back the diamonds. I was just putting you going to do it, Cisco. 
you understand, Tracy? We've got to get out of here. They'll be after us. Well, they won't bother me. I'm in the clear. Oh, well, I'm not. Well, that's just too bad, Gary. You should have been a little more careful. Suppose you give me my share of the diamonds and I'll leave. You'll get your share after they are sold. Oh, so that's it, huh? Look here, Tracy. Either you give me my share or I'll expose you. Why, you... Well, it... Uh, it seems I have no choice. Oh, by the way, the key to the safe is in my coat there. Will you get it for me, please? You fool. Police are after you. Clear out past. You stay here, June. Come on, Pancho. Message from you, Mr. Parker. Hey, senor, Cisco sent it with that pigeon I borrowed from you last night. Take a look, Pancho. Ooh, Cisco diamonds, huh? Enough to open a store. The yes. glisten. Look at the glisten. Yes. Why, you... oh. Nicely done, Cisco. Did you find the necklace? You'll never find it, miss. I've recut every stone. Are they in there, Cisco? Oh, see, and plenty more, too. Well, you can turn them over to me now. I'm sorry, Joan, but I can't. The authorities will need them to use as evidence against Parker. That's right, they will. Well, I'd better send a wire off to my boss. Drop your gun, Pancho. Don't move, Cisco. Drop it, Pancho. Try that again, Parker, and I'll blow your head off. You're a nice guy, Cisco. But don't believe everything you hear. Especially from a girl. Then you ain't no detective, don't you? Me? That's a laugh. No, Sonny Boy. I take my diamonds where I find them. Just like our friend Parker. But how about those credentials from the insurance company? My partner Stan was an artist when it came to forgery. I'm going to miss him. Well, you certainly put one over on me. Don't feel too bad about it. I fooled smarter chumps than you. Now toss over that box. Here it goes. Anything you want me to send you in prison, Joan? Yeah, a half a dozen good hacksaw blades. <laughs> you know, little pigeon, you're awful pooty. Why don't you comb your hair sometime, eh? You got pooty little footsies, too. Pink footsies are pooty. <laughs> Why you got your nose at all? Something on top of your nose, you got things. <laughs> <laughs> I might have known I'd find you here with the pigeons. Don't you ever get tired of them? Not much, you know why? Why? Because someday I'm going to buy a little rancho and I'm going to raise flying chickens. Oh, Pancho, chickens don't fly. Yeah, but they will when I marry them with flying pigeons. Oh, Pancho! Oh, Cisco! Goodbye, amigos! See you soon! Ha! <laughs>